Hello everyone, welcome back to Explorer Electronics. In this video, let's see important questions in introduction to electronics and communication subject with the code BESCK 104C or 204C. And before going to the very important questions, let me take you to the playlist in my YouTube channel that is introduction to electronics and communication you can see over here see if you go to this playlist you can see complete videos of this subject with model question paper solution important questions and full complete syllabus videos and also solution for some problems you will get so complete syllabus is covered over here in this particular playlist so let's now see the important questions so coming to module 1 module 1 is with power supplies and amplifiers here the very important question we can get is the block diagram of power supply so the block diagram is asked previously also block diagram of the power supply is very important here you will get this question for 5 to 6 marks you need to explain the blocks coming in power supply so that the block diagram can, uh, carries 3 marks and explanation carries 2 to 3 marks. And then we have rectifiers, half way rectifier, full way rectifiers and filters. So these rectifiers will be asked again and again. One question will be there on rectifiers. So out of half wave or full wave rectifiers, full wave in the sense center tapped as well as bridge rectifier comes into picture. Half wave and full wave rectifier with filter is important which uh, filter means it is a capacitor filter um, with the rectifier to reduce the AC component present in the output of the rectifier so that is important here we need to clearly write the explanation with waveforms so waveform carries one or two marks here in rectifiers so this is very very important question you can expect this question easily in exam so the next important question here is voltage regulator so zener diode as voltage regulator we can expect as important and then voltage doubler can be asked it is not asked many times in exam but it can be asked voltage doubler or tripler circuit so this doubler and tripler circuit using diode is uh, important here you may get this question again for 4 to 5 marks and then coming to the second part amplifiers here amplifier gain amplifier input and output resistance frequency response bandwidth phase shift negative feedback these are very small concepts discussed on amplifiers so the question will be on like explain input and output uh, resistance or uh, explain the frequency response explain the bandwidth so these kind of questions may be asked over here and very important question is negative feedback so negative feedback properties are very important are they may ask to write about the negative feedback and its characteristics over positive feedback so this question is very important so i recommend block diagram of power supply is very important negative feedback is also important and zener diode as voltage regulator is also important here out of these and then coming to module 2 so module 2 is of oscillators and operational amplifiers so here let me make it big okay so here in module 2 if you see if starting from oscillators barkusen criteria to generate the sinusoidal wave is important sometimes they may ask what is oscillator what is oscillator and uh, the barkusen criteria usually they ask in exams previous uh, subjects if you see where oscillators are discussed barkusen criteria is asked so based on that i am uh, giving this as important so then very important oscillator here is rc phase shift oscillator rc phase shift is also called as ladder network so ladder network oscillator is many times asked in the previous exams also so this is very very important you can expect this question easily and also vein bridge important 
vein bridge oscillator is also important and then multi vibrators you can expect vein bridge oscillator or multi vibrator out of multi vibrator single stage um, multi vibrator can be asked a stable oscillator then coming to operational amplifiers so here ideal characteristics ideal characteristics of op amp is important question they may ask practical characteristics also sometimes or they may ask to write ideal characteristics as well as practical characteristics for some particular uh, parameters that can also be asked and here the in inverting and non inverting amplifiers are what we call it as configurations are important with respect to op amp and also integrator and differentiator circuits are important so out of these two 5 and 6 usually one or two questions will come out of these two rc phase shift and single stable uh, single stage a stable oscillator also you can expect one question so here e easily you can guess the questions like rc phase shift oscillator vein bridge oscillators are very very important similarly inverting and non inverting uh, amplifiers op amp amplifiers are very very important likewise you can easily guess the questions which are repeatedly asked in the previous exams so this is about second module coming to third module here it is of digital electronics where boolean algebra logic circuits and then combinational logic like half adder full adder is discussed so here if you see the syllabus the first thing is number conversion so number conversion is very very important you will get number conversion question easily in exam you can expect this number conversion binary to um, octal conversion decimal to binary conversion binary to decimal conversion hexadecimal conversion likewise number conversion will be there for sure in examination for 5 to 6 marks and then boolean algebra so boolean theorems can be asked or uh, what we call it as boolean theorems or properties can be asked and then to ask to write the sop or pos uh, forms you, you may expect the that question and then logic gates are very important uh, here basic gates and universal gates and also universal gates using universal gates you need to implement basic gates like using nand gate you need to implement and gate or gate and not gate that that question is always repeated in exams so this question can also be asked and then coming to combinational logic here half adder and full adder is very very important and using boolean theorems and properties we need to simplify the expression given so this question is also be asked for for four to five marks here number question conversion is very very important simplifying the expression is also important logic gates will be asked to write some logic circuits or they may ask to implement the basic gates using universal gates half adder full adder is very very important here so then let us move on to the next module that is module 4 in the module 4 embedded systems and sensors and interfacing here first thing is block diagram of embedded system and then you can easily say the differences differences between uh, differences between embedded system versus general purpose system and risc and sisc and before that uh, microprocessor versus microcontroller and also risc versus sisc so these are very very important usually they will ask embedded system and such general purpose system or a microprocessor microcontroller risc sisc also and core of the embedded system elements of embedded system they may ask but embedded system elements is important elements of embedded system this question is also asked in the previous time and coming to sensors and interfacing they may ask like briefly explain 
briefly explain uh, transducer and uh, sensors they may ask like that here very important thing is led and seven segment display they may directly ask to explain the seven segment display or they may give some uh, word like hello how to display using seven segment display you need to write the hexadecimal code corresponds to that by selecting common cathode or common anode configuration of seven segment display so here this is very very important and also coming to actuators actuators here uh, you can expect um, stepper motor stepper motor control and uh, buzzer so like these questions so here very important thing is seven segment display and then block diagram of embedded system and these differences these are very very important in module 4 and then let us move on to module 5 so in this module 5 communication system and digital modulation schemes the first thing is again the block diagram of communication system so block diagram is asked many times in the exam block diagram of communication system you can easily expect you need to explain each and every blocks what happens in the transducer uh, what happens in the transmitter receiver modulation what happens in the channel everything in brief and then coming to uh, other topics they may ask you to explain about uh, channels different types of channels available and also what is noise and uh, these questions may ask for four marks to explain briefly and then coming to types of modulation amplitude modulation uh, frequency modulation modulation definition is very important and types so this question you can expect easily uh, how the modulation is going to happen in am and fm you need to explain and better you can learn writing the waveforms for those that carries more marks and then uh, radio wave propagation also asked in the previous model question papers and all so radio wave propagation diagram is important and then coming to digital modulation schemes ASK FSK and PSK is important here and then multiple access technique like uh, TDMA FDMA may be asked so multiple access techniques so here very important thing is block diagram and then modulation and its types FSK, ASK, PSK and radio wave propagation. So these are very important here. So these are the very important concepts in introduction to electronics and communication subject. You can also see model question paper and you can also see in this playlist I have uh, module wise important questions. So you will get better knowledge of how the question will be asked over here. You can see this is module 1 overview and coming down you can see module 2 overview similarly module 3 overview here modules are little bit um, interchanged means embedded system is discussed in module 4 um, maybe like that so but you can see all the complete uh, subject content over here so module 4 overview this uh, contains communication system analog digital communication like that some of the concepts are not there in the new subject new syllabus you can vomit those and you can refer other concepts so this is about introduction to electronics and communication subject thank you